Tonight, baseless allegations of widespread voter fraud in Florida. Here we go. Now fueling demands to purge the state's voter rolls and change its election laws. It's all being pushed by a self-described citizens group. Of course, there is no proof of fraud. Leila Santiago is out front with this inside look. Go to defendflorida.com. Mike Flint. I'm going to be there. Roger Stone. Fixing 2020. Mike Lindell. They're all promoting Defend Florida, a self-described citizens organization touting false claims about widespread election fraud. That happened thousands and thousands of times in in the 2020 election. Caroline Weatherington, the once president of Women for Trump Florida, is a co-founder of Defend Florida. The group recently released a report that calls for the purging of voter rolls and changing Florida election laws. Even though in November of 2020, Florida's Governor Ron DeSantis said this. We're now being looked at as the state that did it right. Defend Florida's co-founders told reporters they found more than 5,000 instances of voter or voting irregularities in Florida, and they say they have signed affidavits to prove all of them. The group has not provided me with any actionable data. Marion County Supervisor of Elections Wesley Wilcox, a registered Republican, is the president of the Florida Supervisor of Elections Association, which represents supervisors in the state's 67 counties. I take it as a slap that that they're insinuating that we are not following the law. The group is asking election officials to remove inactive voters from the registration list. Voters like 78-year-old Sally Davidson. Did you know you were on that list? No. Heavens no. We tracked her down to find out if she was aware Defend Florida had deemed her voter registration problematic. They cannot take my God-given constitutional right away from me. Because as the Constitution is written now, it doesn't say failure to vote. She hasn't voted in decades, but remains active in the electoral process by signing petitions. Defend Florida also claims it discovered tens of thousands of people registered at locations that are not residential addresses. At the top of their list of examples, over 9,100 registered at the Crestview Courthouse. We reached out to Okaloosa County where the courthouse is located. They tell us there are actually 7,670 registered voters at the courthouse. It's an address the county assigned to them because about half are active military or their family members. They may literally be in Afghanistan, Germany. They still are eligible to vote. The others are those without a physical address, like a voter living in a boat or an RV. This month, Florida Republicans introduced a new bill that aims to put in place many of the measures Defend Florida is pushing. It's calling for an Office of Election Crimes and Security, more voter ID requirements, adding steps to more limits on vote by mail, and requires county supervisors of elections to update voter registration lists more often. We didn't have a totally clean election because we got really dirty voter rolls, but um, at least the, the people of Florida came out and voted. I have yet to see something that is factual that we that needs to be addressed. So Layla, in all of your reporting, okay, were you able to find any, any evidence to back up this group's claims? No, no proof at all for some of their claims. And here's another example, Aaron. We looked into the claim they made in their report that they found a voter in Alachua County that voted, then drove 300 miles south to Broward County, voted again on the same day. We reached out to Alachua County election officials to look into that claim. They had already looked into it, and they said what they realized was the group was talking about two separate individuals with similar voting information that voted separately. So again, another example uh, without any proof or evidence to back it up. And Aaron, we should mention, we reached out to the co-founders on multiple occasions, tried to talk to them about this, but our requests for an interview were denied. Wow, it's amazing. Just one of those things gets said and just repeated and repeated and people believe it and nobody ever checks. Right. Thank goodness you're out there checking just to show the facts, the truth. Layla, thanks.